everyone. Okay, it is Monday. I know, I am so screwed up on my days. I had to ask Fat Man this morning, and my eye is just twitching to beat the band, so don't pay attention to that. I had to ask Fat Man this morning, what day is it? Um, yeah, just say I'm winking at y'all. <laughs> um... I did not go to church yesterday. Me and Becca, because she had not had a chance to see Brian's house. And I don't know what I was thinking. Whenever I placed Sam's order, and no, I did not vlog it. I'll tell you why in a minute. I placed a Sam's order the other night. And I hit next delivery available. Or not delivery. Next pickup available. And it was for... Sunday morning between 10 and 11. I didn't pay attention to the Sunday part. So I had to miss church to pick up that Sam's order. But that, it all worked out. Um, Maddie had called me beforehand of could I just rescue and, and take care of that sweet, precious baby of ours. Um, she was not feeling good at all. Maddie wasn't feeling good. And so, I told her most certainly that Skeeter was always so good when we took her anywhere. And I knew I was going to have Becca's help. So, me, Skeeter, and Becca got to do our Sam's run. We got to go to Brian's house. Skeeter got to skate around on his floors. He, Mamas, if you think that your children aren't paying attention, they are. They are. He had made the comment. He's like, Mama, I get now what you meant about floors. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's, he had gotten his shower and everything that first night. And he had walked around, done a few things. And then finally, he said, I just could not sleep. And he said, I just kept walking around. He said, I just I couldn't sleep. And... Uh, he finally sat back down on his couch, and he noticed. He said, Mama, I looked down. My feet were black as soot. He said, I realized then how nasty floors were. He said, guess what I did during the night? <laughs> I had given him some Swiffer pads, but I told him he was going to have to buy him, you know, the little stick. He did not. So my little ingenious son took them pads, put on his feet, and skated <laughs> skated around the floor but it got it clean because Miss Little Skeeter didn't have black mark on her. Now he didn't get all the floors done but he did do that living room floor. He said it was absolutely filthy. And it didn't look filthy but if you were down the you know bare feet walking across it then you get a chance to see it all. Any hoozles. All that being said. I know right? Hmm. Today holds. Why don't I always recap or start my day with a recap of the day before? Because I can't remember what I mean. <laughs> and I had to explain why I'm a day or two behind. Just real life here, people. Real life. And then I discovered yesterday, after all our doings, I did not take my morning meds. That could explain why I was hurting. I mean hurting. I am still paying the repercussions of that. I mean, I am near about in tears. Our agenda today, um, pick up and do my normal Monday things. Um, I got a, I'm in the process. I was trying to make up my bed and I just can't, I can't make it up and talk and do all the fun stuff too. Um, this needs reorganizing this is our like winter sweater closet ladies y'all know how heavy and bulky sweaters are and long sleeve tees and all that fun stuff and uh, it's three girls sharing all that stuff so between the three of us oh my between the three of us going in and out I don't think Carol Beth's ever really got anything out of there but uh so it's just me and Becca so between the two of us going in and out it just kind of needs reorganize and refold and that type of thing I'm gonna go ahead right now since I said meds I'm gonna go ahead right this moment got my meds we're gonna go ahead and pop 
these puppies. Oh yeah, fun, fun. Can you, yeah, hmm. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Da, 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 da. Bed night. Um, I still have clothes that I did up Friday? Thursday. One day. <laughs> I washed them at some point in time. Still have yet to put them away. So, that needs to be tackled. Um, yeah, that needs to be tackled. Brian has officially, he found a math book. Yeah, he found a math book. Um, I think I bought this for Becca a while back. And he was using it to study for the firefighter exam. Oh, I need to get in here with a dust chin mop and have that mean can do some yeah my son was not one for dusting if this tells y'all anything this is what his room looks like now becca did throw her shoes in here i guess that's the way of marking your territory throw your shoes in a room <laughs> it did he the blind broke on this side and you know boys it's no big deal i don't need one da 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 he hung an army blanket over the windows. <laughs> so, that needs to be... We need to get some new mini blinds. Um, I would like to eventually get all of them like the plantation blinds. But I'm not going to do that in the bedrooms first. I would rather do that with the living room first. Um, but yeah, this is going to be Becca's new room. She's going to have a lot more stuff. Steve has got to go. Brian could not get him down by himself. So, Fat Man put it up so he knows. He's had to anchor him in or something. But that vent and the ceiling fan dust, that vent is awful. Um, she'll have a nice big closet. That's one thing we can say about this house. The closets are fairly nice and big. They, we do need paint. And Becca does not like the paneling. So, I was told her that was going to be on her to buy the paint and to paint. So, that's on her. Um, as landlords, that is not us. We will give her permission to paint. But, that's not on us. But yeah, I had gotten this math book from Sam's years ago. And I mean, it has got everything from simple addition all the way to trigonometry in it. Um, and it's just good to have on hand. It has like the visuals. I mean like inequalities, the algebra part. Um, as a homeschooler mama, I will go ahead and tell you I did not teach my children this. I know, right? The clouds are falling from the sky. I let them do it through YouTube videos um, of college professors teaching it. Because a big mama didn't know how. I did accounting when I was in school. When I was in high school, I did accounting one and accounting two. To me, it was more important to know how to do a um, balance checkbook, pay your bills. Tangents, I don't think my kids were ever going to use this. You know what I mean? I would rather them be able to balance their checkbook, pay their bills on time, and know how much money they've got left at the end of the month. So we did more consumer math, not tangents. Um, yeah, quadratic expressions. But this is a great book. It's a great reference tool. Um, they would all kind of go and grab, and this supports the Common Core. I'm sorry. That's a bunch of Anywho, hey, how y'all doing? What we got going on this Monday morning? Y'all don't want to get me started on that common core crap. Two plus two equals four, okay? That's all you need to know. You need to know how to add. You need to know how to subtract. Yeah, that new math. No. No. Anywho, 
I will not get rid of this. It will go on our bookshelf. We do still have, because Carol Beth loves reading like the history books. Nobody is really a fan for a math book, but if it comes to a time and this has been had to pull off the shelf more than once, and my kids have been graduated. Brian graduated in, let's see, Carol Beth graduated in 2012. So he graduated in 20. No, that's not right. Yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. Anywho, it been a while, Mom. <laughs> All right. Now that I'm in here, this leads to <laughs> what I was going to try to do. Um, I'm cleaning off my desk. I had an issue. Yeah, I broke my little... I might be able to fix it. My removable tape adhesive thing, it dropped. Let me tell you, if you drop these little suckers, they bust open. Okay? Um, but I do want to tell Bridget from Mississippi. Girl, you hooked Big Mama up. She sent me the sweetest letter like for real the sweetest letter um and the sweetest christmas card i'm not going to show it um but thank you so much from our family to your family thank you hon and then she sent and me and the girls have been having fun going through with this she used to be a premier no paparazzi Paparazzi Jewelry Consultant. And let me get where my light's a little bit better. Um, and she's not doing that no more. So I hope you don't mind if I show this. Um, but yeah, we've been having fun. I did put a couple of things in Maddie's Christmas box. They didn't come do Christmas with us until Tuesday of last week. Thursday of last week. Thursday of last week. One day. But uh, I've been loving this bracelet. It's pink. Y'all know me in pink. And it's got the heart. And I love the silver detail. So I've been wearing that. I did take a couple of necklaces and stick in Maddie's box. And I took a couple and stuck in Teresa's box. But it has got all kinds of necklaces and earrings and just really cool bracelets. So, thank you, girl. We've been having fun. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of looking through. I'm wearing a turtleneck today. Now, yesterday we had our air on. Yesterday our high was like 78 but we had to turn our ear on. We were all in t-shirts. Granted, we had on like longer pants, legging type things. But we turned our ear on. Today, our high is only going to be 55. So they say. Hey, look at that one. It's all glitter. So, Bridget, thank you so much. Seriously, from our hearts to yours. I love the little birds. If you can't tell, they are little bird earrings. How stinking cute is that? Those are precious. They're jangly. So, like I said, we have just been having fun going through. Today holds. <laughs> I will eventually get there. Y'all know me. It's like a road trip. We'll eventually get where we're going, but we're going to take the scenic route. Oh, like I said, my legs are just, I was, I was in tears. I was not crying. That's one of the things we're doing today. I've got to go see the pain management doctor at 1030 and tell him his pain management sucks. Um, the epidural shots in my sciatic nerve. Yeah, no, it's not my sciatic nerve. Because them shots didn't work. 
He can take his shots and put them where the sun don't shine. I'm sorry. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, no. I mean, you. Mm. There's pain and then there's pain. I am in pain. I mean, last night I was literally, I was begging Fat Man just to cut my leg off. I'm like, just go ahead and cut it off. Just cut it off. Just cut it off. Hey, Tudabod. Oh, I was going to say, he's got to check that jewelry out. Um, Becca's got her dentist appointment this afternoon. Y'all pray for her. She's going to get molars extracted. I think they're going to shoot for all eight molars on each side. I don't know. Um, that's a lot. I know whenever I had mine done... I had immediate ginger placement, though. Um, and that's what I was thinking. They need to go ahead and make her mold. And then do the extraction and do the immediate placement. And the receptionist is like, no, we need to go ahead and get the molars out first. Maybe it's because I didn't have many molars. I mean, when I had mine done, mine were mainly my fronts. And she don't have many fronts. It's her backs that are left. So, but they all are bad teeth. So, like I said, hers are not even strong enough to support braces. They never would. I'm looking through, looking to see if I can find a long necklace that will go with my jujus. Um, oh, that might. That's pretty. Yeah. Anywho. Um, so yeah, her teeth wouldn't even hold up the, um, braces, so they would never hold, like, a partial, you know, where they would do the wire or the post or anything like that, so we're just gonna pull, get full dentures, and move from there, but it will be, like, New Year's before they can do her our dentures which is just what a week away so there you go um so we've got to get up and get rolling with that it is eight now my first appointment is at 10 30 and then we've got some friends coming over for tomorrow night we're gonna play mexican terrain have pizza and just they don't stay until like midnight um, we we're going to play around the Mexican train. She's going to bring some cool desserts, and so that's going to be fun. But today I've got to at least clean off my desk, get the house somewhat in order. We've got errands and appointments to get to. And yeah, yeah, so y'all will just kind of come on this journey with us. It's going to be like a day in the life. Of crazy and crazy and crazy. <laughs> Me and the two girls. So y'all come with us. Hey, Kabeth. Hey. There's Kabeth. She's just now waking up. It is 8, almost 8.15, go ahead and say. I'm trying to go through and just kind of pick up um, the randomness from the holiday and people being off and Brian moving and a lot has happened just within a week like seriously it is hard to believe that last week was Christmas yep. isn't it hard to believe yep. it seems like it's been forever I guess in a way it almost seems like it wasn't Christmas at all because you know, we didn't do the tree, da 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 da. Um, but to think, I still got fall crap up, y'all. I need to change my fall. For, can you believe they already got Valentine's stuff out? What the hennies? Let me get through one holiday and recoup from it before you shove another one down my throat. I guess I could just leave my fall stuff up, leave some of my Christmas stuff out, 
throw some Valentine stuff in the mix and just leave it. Oh, and Halloween. Oh, <laughs> and Fourth of July. I'm just going to celebrate all of them and just leave it out. <laughs> um, technically, Snamian is winter. So, and I do have like an ice blue one. You can do ice blue. I'm looking for a hug. I love the Hershey's Kisses hugs. Yes, to the moon. I was looking for salted caramel, but what are you going to do? Um, anywho. Alright, kitchen is... Yeah, it's bad. I'm not even. I'm not even. Alright, I got my room picked up. I'm working on the den before we go. Um... Yeah, we're going to see how far I can get. So here's the static. It's not that bad. I have cleaned off tables. Cleaned off the tables. I do need to kind of fold some blankets. My hand is doing the shaking thing. We had that sweet baby yesterday. Um, luckily, Fat Man picked up all of her toys and got that kind of straightened out for me. I did get her car seat back in the car. That's some burn pile stuff that needs to go. I've got my desk I need to clean off. I'm going to kind of pan quick so it won't. I need to clean that stuff off. It's just randomness. Just randomness. Yeah. I'm finding chargers that technically aren't mine. Um, I'm going to kind of hang on to them and see. I know I had a couple of extra blocks. Um, I need to find some extra wires or cables. Um, I usually try to keep on hand because they get lost, they get broken. You know the drill. All right, hey Toot, Toot Toot, here Kiki Kiki, here Kiki Kiki. Well, we've got our niece in law, she's gonna have another baby. And so she's wanting a blanket like I made her first baby. But I'm adding the yellow to it. Her first baby is over two. And she still totes that blanket and has to sleep with it every night. So I'm just so thrilled that they actually use it. I make so many baby blankets that people don't use. And that's the whole point and purpose of them. It breaks my heart when I see crochet stuff in the thrift store. I know time and effort and love went into that. Somebody made it for someone in mind. And so, but to know that they're using it and loving it and that she totes it just brings joy to my heart. And so I'm hoping this new baby will do this blanket the same way. So, yeah, yeah, and I'm loving the yellow touch in it. It's just making it, making it very vibrant. My floors need doing. I do need to sit down and kind of just get a game plan for my day and for my week. I have not done a plan with me. I have not sat down and figured out menus. I haven't sat down and figured. I need to do that before we leave this house. So, that's what I'm fixing to tackle now. Hey, Heinz. Okay, it is Tuesday. And for everybody that's been showing the memes of and making the comments of from Christmas to New Year's, and you honestly can't remember what day it is, tis true. Tis true. And yes, I still have my happy harvest, happy fall, y'all, sign behind me. I don't have much of a touch of Christmas. My Christmas cactus never bloomed. But any hoozles, I digress. Um, yeah. I noticed coming in from Aldi, I still have my fall wreaths on my door. And I talk about people in the neighborhood that will still have their Halloween crap up come Thanksgiving or Christmas. We're going into the new year, y'all, and I've got all oh, stuff. It'll be all right. It will be all right. Anywho, 
Um, I've got a small Aldi haul. I did not do a Sam's haul, and I'm kicking myself now for not doing one. I had a Sam's grocery order pickup yesterday. I know. Back my boat up. Sunday. Sunday. You're right, Beck. Thank you. Becca was with me, so that's why I was thinking it was yesterday. Sunday. Um, me and her did that, and then we went to Brian's and took him some stuff. Anywho, Aldi Hall. We are having company tonight. We invited a couple from our church over just to kind of hang out. We're going to play Mexican Train. Um, it's a domino game. My sister and her husband tried teaching us a while back. We're going to have to relearn. Anywho, she's making the treats. I'm doing pizza. And so that was the reason why I had to go to Aldi. I'm so glad I didn't go yesterday and think that I could put my pizzas in my cooler. Because we didn't get home till almost 6 yesterday. 6, 6.30. By the time we went, Dick got through with Becca at the dentist, got her pain meds, and got home. And it was it was right at 6, 6.15. So, anywho, it would have been in the cooler for a very long time. So, I'm glad I waited till today. And then, everybody on the Aldi Facebook page, if you are not part of the Aldi Facebook group, you look on Facebook, and there are many Aldi pages. Should be even one for your area. I know we've got just the Aldi page, and then we've got the Prattville Aldi page. And it was the Prattville Aldi one that was talking about the Markdown meats. So, but tonight we're doing pizza. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, I'll, we love all these pizzas. They are wonderful. And for $4.99, $5.99, it just depends on when you get them, what you get, da da da. Um, they are wonderful. But because Becca's not going to be able to eat pizza. And it's just Carol Beth that will eat the cheese. And they were out of the big take and bake cheeses. I just got her this little Mama Casey's original cheese pizza. It was only $2.19. So I did that for Carol Beth. That'll be plenty. And then we always do the take and bake cheesy breadsticks. They are wonderful. And then I got us, for all of us, me and Fat Man and Sharon and her husband, Eddie, um, I just got the one big supreme pizza. I figure if it's not enough, like I said, we're going to be eating on that, and we're going to have that too. So, now that I'm thinking about it, I might should have gotten another one. But, anywho, um, if that don't fill them up too bad. <laughs> um, Becca had some cheese pulled yesterday. So, and we were completely out of, uh-oh, we were completely out of jellos. So, I got the strawberry gel just strawberry i was thinking you had to do the strawberry in the orange but blessedly you can do just strawberry because the girls are not one for orange things brian is but not the girls anywho um for the girls um i did do the calzone for cheese both girls love those now for my screaming deals are part of them yeah we'll do they had these marked down to 19 cents a piece. The whole milk Greek yogurts. These are usually 89 cents each. I got them for 19 cents each because they're dated for um, today. And they will be, I mean, they're good after today for a couple of days. Um, and you can even freeze them, I think, right? Yes. Uh, anyhow, we got the toasted coconut vanilla and then the key lime pies. And both girls have already taken two of the key lime pies because I just drug out a whole tray. I wish now I would have found a tray that had two more of the key lime. But, uh, anywho. My markdown meat had $3 off the 90-10 beef sirloin at, what, uh... $3.99 a pound, so it was $8.92. I paid $5.92 for two, right at two pounds. And then this one was $8.90, $3 off, so I paid $5.90 um, for like two pounds. So, yes, ma'am, I'll do that all. I'm going to give one of those to Brian. I've already talked to him, messaged, 
and um, told him I'll give him some hamburger meat and chicken tomorrow. Um, their chicken, they did have some chicken breast marked down, but I decided to go with this because it was cheaper. The boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These are great to cut up and do like chicken and rice or poppy seed chicken or Chinese or whatever. If you're just going to kind of stew it up or boil it up and put it in a casserole. We have also panko breaded them and done them in the oven, baked them. Um, and they're good on the grill too. So they were $5.45 pack. At two off, so I paid three forty-five, and I tried to stick with five something packages. I tried to dig through and get like this one was five thirteen, so I paid three thirteen for it. Um, I got Brian one pack and us three packs. I figured I would do it that way, and then I'm gonna give him one pack of the hamburger meat. They said that he's gonna. <laughs> He's costing us more now that he's moved out because I feel bad for him and I keep giving him food. So he's costing him more. He's costing us more because now I, I'm trying to feed two, two separate houses. Anywho, the donuts, they had the variety packs. A dollar, they were normally $1.89 with dollar off stickers. So 89 cents packs. So I got four. What they're 15 in there, so I got four again. I will probably give Brian one. Um, they had some that were all chocolate, and I knew he wouldn't eat those, so I'll just stuck with the varieties. Um, for tonight, I know Sharon, my friend, loves the Winging Owl Sweet Red, it was the first Aldi wine we've ever tried, and it is so good. If you want a sweet not dry wine the blinking owl or winking owl excuse me winking owl sweet red yeah sweet red um it is wonderful it's only $2.95 a bottle so there you go um but i figured that would be good just to kind of sip on um, the whole baby carrots were only 89 cents. I got some red delicious apples because I realized we had no fruit here. So red delicious apples, two things of bananas. Um, I was completely out of onions, so I got some sweet onions, like a, I think it's a three pound pack. Um, I've got some hamburger buns. I figure with a pack of that hamburger meat, I might either do sloppy joes or make it some hamburger patties. Hot dog buns. Because somewhere I thought I had a pack of hot dogs. Am I crazy? I might have to go look for a pack of hot dogs. And then red cups for tonight. What did I do? I know I bought hot dogs. Oh, and then I found these. And I needed some new bedroom shoes so bad. Mine are older than the hills. So, and these just looked comfy. Comfy. So, I don't know what I do with that pack of hot dogs. Aha. Ask and you shall receive hot dogs. Um, it's a good staple to always have on hand. They're only 79 cents a piece. I couldn't remember if I had any in here or not. I figured tomorrow for a lunch. Well, no, I'm making a bigger lunch tomorrow because Brian's coming. Um, I'm looking back here to see. I don't have any back there. So, this will be going back there. Yeah, for a meal. Um, I do have, uh, this was something that I done at Sam's, let's see. I don't know who, oh, uh, must have been something Fat Man did. Here's was something that I did get at Sam's was the mixed veggies and then some kielbasa. And those make a great sheep pan meal. Um, I got some hamburger meat. I got a whole pork loin. That man is supposed to cut 
into pork chops for me. I did do the International Delight Creamer, um, waffles, got two packs of the frozen waffles because they were only $4. Um, hot cocoa mix, Velveeta shells and cheese. I think Rebecca could eat that and Carol Beth could eat that. How did it go on your stomach, boo? What? The mac and cheese. Good. Here's poor Becca. Look at how swollen her little face is. She had three, I'm not going to touch you, she had three pulled on that side and an impacted wisdom tooth. That's what he says that's what would be doing the swelling, but more swollen up front, isn't it, boo? Yeah, it's more in the front that's swollen. So, anywho. But, uh, no fever, just pain. Um, but yeah, so that's my Aldi haul. I don't know what time, I think I said six tonight is when they're supposed to come. So I've got to clean up this dining room. It is a hot mess. It needs sweeping, it needs dusting, all the things. So, but that is going to do it for today, and I will see y'all tomorrow.